Hello everybody and welcome to my in the bag video. In case you don't know, my name is Stephen Kane and I want to show you what's in my bag. So to start off, let's start with the putters. First, I have my main putting putters. I have two Pro D roaches. The roach is the disc that I prefer to putt with. It's nice and glidey, goes nice and straight. Doesn't veer off course too much until the end, you know, it starts to fade a little bit, which I do like the little bit of stability that it has at the end. However, it is a zero, so it will go straight for quite a, quite a ways. So, really enjoy putting with these. Second, I have two more putting putters. These two are my backups in case I throw one of those into the lake when putting at, at a lake. So, uh, these are my backups just in case. Uh, sometimes I will throw these in anger, but it just depends on the day. So I really enjoy throwing these. I think they're a great addition to my bag. So, so I have 12 Roach driving putters, and I'm going to go ahead and show those to you. I'll start off with the understable full. So I've got four understable roaches that I use for my understable drives. So these two are Ace Race roaches. They are from a few years back. I do believe that was 2000, 2014, if I remember right. Maybe it was 2015. I'm not sure. But very nice disc. Uh, these are the soft plastic, so they do turn to the right quite a bit. I do like that, though. You know, I can use these on my understable shots. And then these two are just a little bit more stable, and they're my backups for those two in case I get, in case I lose them. So got two more in the bag just in case on that instance. So those do a great job. Those are all Pro-D, by the way. Next, I have four Glow Roaches, Glow Z Flex Roaches. And these, I cannot say enough about these. I mean, these discs do wonders for me. So I can put it out on a little bit of hyzer. The nice plastic glides a lot. Let me tell you, the glide is amazing on these. So these ones are mainly for my max distance drives. I'd say anything over 480 to 680 feet, anything in that range. I'll use these roaches for that case. Um, I really like the color schemes on these. I have a couple American flag roaches, which I just think these look incredible. I just love the look of these. So I carry those just, just because I can. I have four Big Z roaches. These are my stable long distance drivers. So into a headwind, if I'm trying to throw anywhere from 500 to 800 feet, I'll throw these in a headwind because they'll hold the line a lot nicer. And they, they just fly real nice. I mean, this one, these two right here are a little bit more beat up. They, they'll flip just a little bit in a headwind. I did get an ace with this, with this roach right here, so really really cherish this thing. This thing was Ace 11. So yeah, really, really like those two. And then of course I have the backups just in case these ones nice and stable. I have two more roaches in the bag. These are Drawbreaker roaches. These are just nice to have. I carry two more discs in the bag and they are my utility discs and they are zones. This is my little bit more beat up zone, my stable zone, utility disc for anything where the roach does not play into effect. Uh, but in most cases it does. So these are just when I need like a hard cut or something like that, anything under 150 feet right here. So that's pretty much all I got for you in the bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Stephen Kane. Okay, so in case you were wondering, yes, this is a gag video. I was just doing a little short in the bag as if all I threw was roaches because on the course, I do throw the roach a lot. It is used for a lot of drives and whatnot. So I just thought I'd make a little video because a lot of people out there have been saying, you should just fill your bag with roaches. And so I did that and I made a video about it. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff if you liked the video. Uh, if not, so be it. But uh, until next time, I'll see you.